WhatsApp is an amazing tool for your business. And so today I'm going to show you how you can use AI automation and AI agents to respond to messages, book meetings, and perform other tasks. How this looks is that you're basically going to have a webhook and we're going to be using Ngrok so that we can have a secure URL. And so we have this webhook that's constantly waiting for requests. As soon as it receive a, receives a request, what we're going to do is have what they call lookup commands. So we're going to register commands through WhatsApp. And then whenever somebody you know uses that commands, for instance, they say slash generate and then give a prompt, that's going to create that image and then send it back. So we're going to have a little fun with it today. And then what the backend is going to do, the webhook is going to say, is it one of the commands? Then it's going to decide what to do. So if it's slash generate, generate. We're going to have the LM call. If they want to research something, this is going to be a crew call. If it's just hello, which is simple or greeting and so forth. So status, contact, these can just be simple database calls and then a schedule help. You know, what these are basically doing is that I don't, or you don't have to be there to actually talk with that customer. We're going to have uh, automations and AI agents deal with all of their tasks that they want to perform, or they'll just deal with the customers. Okay. So on the left-hand side, I have my WhatsApp with my test phone number. I'll explain that in a few minutes. On the right hand side, I have my server set up with ngrok so we can receive secure URL messages from the webhook. Okay, so what I can say is first, you know, like I said, let's slash help. You see it turns blue. That's because it is a registered command. So on the right hand side, it's processed, it received the webhook, it's processing it, and now this is what it's sending back to me. So it gave me some examples. So let me just go ahead and copy this slash generating. You see slash generate is also blue because it's a registered command with WhatsApp. So now on the right hand side, you can see it's generating the image for the prompt sunset over mountains. And then, you know, after that's just an LLM call. So it's going to generate the image. And here it did. Here is the image it sent back to me. And so the same thing can be done for slash status, schedule, uh, research, a topic, etc. We can do all those things are going to work and we're going to have an agent over here doing working on making that happen for us. Now, the next thing I just want to talk about, and I'm going to do about this, I'm going to talk about this briefly is because I'm going to have information for you is how do we get to the point to where we can use that? You know, it's great that we can do that, but how do we even get there? Well, Anyten has some integration uh, documentation for the credentials you need. So this means that you do need to have a meta developer account and actually dealing with Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, I've realized that meta just kind of like all three of those, if you want to have basically any of those, you just need to create a meta developer account, then you create an app. And then once you create an app through there, then you can just start creating WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, and doing all those integrations. Okay. Now I said that I had a test phone number account. That is because I don't have an official WhatsApp business account yet. Although I applied for it a few weeks ago, it has not been approved yet. That is, that's like a whole process that I'm still going through. Um, but so for, in the meantime, I have a test phone number account. And typically you would see the commands on the screen just like this, but because I don't have an actual WhatsApp business account, it doesn't show up. So if I were to start typing, so if I was a customer and I start typing to the business business account, then it would actually show those on the screen. So then you can just click and then, you know, you know, do whatever this is, make it easier for your customer. Basically, once you get to the point to you have your meta developer account, you created an app, you're going to, on the left hand side, there's a WhatsApp quick start. You're going to just click on start using the API, go through the process, you get a token, and eventually you'll get to a WhatsApp manager. And this is where you kind of make everything happen. And like I mentioned, if you just kind of follow this information right here, then they're going to tell you exactly what you need to do in order to just get to where I'm at. From here, there's quite a few things you can do. First off, you can make templates. You know, if you haven't, if you haven't seen these, you probably have seen these. So for instance, uh, the sample, uh, let's do this. Hello world. So this is a template. This means that the first time that they message you, this is a, this is what we're going to be sending back to you every time. There's also more complex ones. So there's like maybe feedback survey. So that after you're done with some survey, it's going to send this to you and this provide feedback, or it's, it's going to ask you for a survey. So it sends it to you, this provide feedback button will link to some website. You fill that out. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with these templates. But what I want to show you is in the phone numbers here, you're going to connect a test phone number. And once you've, once you've done that, you can come in here and you can see there's automations, right? So this is what I've done. I've created all of these commands that do something. So for instance, if I want to edit this, this might be, this probably blank for you. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to add another command. So let's say, let's say, uh, let's say slash poem, right? And create a simple haiku, whatever, you know, they can, we can do anything with that. So this, in this instance, I want to add another command that's going to create a simple, simple haiku. I'm going to hit save. And now I have this. So 
on my business account, when somebody starts to type slash poem, it comes up, the, comes up as a command, tells them what it is, and then they can do it. I can also have something like slash latest record. Th that customer can get the latest record of whatever your business is about. Now, I set up for allow voice calling. However, it doesn't work unless you actually have a business account. Since I don't have that yet, I tried it and it told me I wasn't allowed to because of that reason. Now to actually get your webhook with WhatsApp, you have to go back to the meta app dashboard. You go to WhatsApp configuration on the left hand, bottom left hand side. You're going to need to input your ngrok or whatever domain you have. You're just going to need to put a callback URL here. I have a link in the description for ngrok. You know, I've used it lots of times. This will be in my free school community, but then you will also need to input a verify token. I just put random numbers, letters. It doesn't matter. Whatever you put in here, just save it. Okay. Then when you come in here, I had calls because I thought I could use it, but I can't. And, but you just, just go ahead and subscribe to messages and you can subscribe to tracking events. So this right here is pretty, pretty powerful because these are basically anything that happens with your WhatsApp account, you can subscribe to that and then get updates. So for instance, if somebody reads your messages, if somebody tries to call, you know, if, if somebody responds to your template, they like clicks the button, you know, if there's any updates to like to a profile, you know, you can get and get, get subscribed. So anytime that happens, you can retrieve that information and then log it or do whatever you want with that. So while I can do this code, what you're going to need is your verify token. I said with the random numbers, letters, the access token, which you need to get your phone number ID, which this is your test phone number, and then an open AI key. Okay. And so this code is going to have everything else. Basically we have all these handlers. So, uh, to handle status command help, contact, schedule, research up there was the generate, right? And here's just the mapping of all of them. So what we want to do and all in this process, this process message here just basically determines what the command is. And then we do something with that based off that. So we're going to go ahead and create another one. So we, I created one called slash poem, and then we're going to say handle poem command. Okay. So this means we need to create this, which we have not created it yet. So I'm going to come right here. We say async handle poem command. And instead of, uh, instead of actually returning that, let's just have a simple LLM call. So what I want to have here is I want to generate, generate a poem. And then, yeah, I could, I could do that right there. I could, it's not created yet, but I just want to return the poem. Okay. Instead of GPT five, just go ahead and create one for me about yeah, agents. So what we do now is whenever this poem command get, you know, whenever, if, if this is the command that it sees from the message, that's going to send back this poem. Now we're going to say slash poem. See, it turns blue. Now on the right hand side here, you can see that we got it and it returned, it returned that poem for us. That is just how easy it is that once you have this code that you can add any command that you need for it to do. I could have easily had it call open AI or call some, uh, some, something else and then return that for us if we really wanted to. Now WhatsApp is really amazing. Like I said, for your business and this having an AI agent or automations behind the scenes, take care of everything for you will save you so much time and you know, you don't have to like like waste money on other services to, to do that basically same thing, right? That's, this is really amazing. And this is going to be a part of my free school community. So I have a link in the description for you to join because again, I just, as I've been saying recently, I'm converting my other paid one into something a little more higher price because I have other clients that are going to be more high ticket in there. And as a part of that, so I am kind of just creating a free one. I'm going to have a lot of free stuff for everybody, courses, AI agents, automations, because I want everybody to learn and I want it to be more accessible accessible and have a bigger community uh, other than with so there's some things with YouTube you can't do. So I'm going to have that join below. It's free. And I'm going to give you a lot of things that people pay a lot of money for in there. Okay. So join. Thank you for watching. Here are some more videos and I will see you next one.